Bokitov, Khavri, I'm Stephen Benoun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Two things happening, breaking this morning. We already know about an Israeli plane being shot down. The Los Angeles Times is reporting that Israel's Netanyahu acknowledges that he is likely to be indicted soon. Well, we also have inside information that came out yesterday, not publicly, but it's come out yesterday. Sources that we're being told is that Prime Minister Netanyahu will resign on Monday and then to be followed up with a possible six months uh, jail time. Now, that's pretty shocking what we're seeing, hearing about this. And uh, I know there was a lot of reluctance about reporting this, but with the Los Angeles Times already saying that uh, the prime minister acknowledges that he is likely to be indicted soon. And I have to tell you, friends, <clears throat> to me, it's a big witch hunt. But I think one of the main reasons why they're trying to indict him and get him out of office is Prime Minister Netanyahu has been a thorn in the side to a two-state solution. And I saw a video that came out in 2012 about him. People were trying to use it against him, saying that uh, this is what his real intentions are. And they actually mistranslate what he says in the video. I was looking at that in the Hebrew language. He doesn't say that he can manipulate the Americans. He's saying that the Americans are for us. And that was what he was talking about. But the whole point was, was he's trying to hang on uh, to the land using the military as the means to do so. Uh, but now the allegations, the indictment is too close to happening. And so our sources are telling us he is going to resign Monday. I don't know if it's actually going to happen or not. All I can say is it's a very high ranking official that is saying this. So we'll just have to wait to see how that plays out. But of course, as you're already aware of, RT reporting this as well, that we have Iran and Syria are playing with fire. Israeli military warns amid flare-up of tensions. And we have a, an Israeli warplane that was shot down over, uh, uh, right over there near, near the border there. But this was over, it says the IDF warned Syria and Iran against violating Israeli sovereignty. Otherwise, they would pay a heavy price. The Israeli military uh, also insisted that Israel does not seek an escalation in the tensions. And from what we understand this happened thus far, Israel was targeting an Iranian target inside of Syria when they came under a fire from the Syrian government. And the Syrian government did hit the plane. The pilots were, uh, they, they both survived. The plane did crash. And uh, it says here that, uh, uh, let's see, the IDF lashed out at the Syrian military, accusing the state of interference in the Israeli-Iranian incident, as well as uh, as at Iran for using Syria as a launch pad for activities against Israel. Now, the source that we have that said about Netanyahu resigning on Monday was also saying even before this happened that there was fixing to be a major escalation of tensions there in the in Syria, in that region of the world there. And we've been looking, we've been waiting for this for some time. Uh, you know, it even goes back, reminds me of that young man that uh, the, the, the Jewish boy that had the near-death experience there that said that this would be the flashpoint even that would ignite between Russia and the United States. And, you know, a lot of people say, well, he was talking about it being Obama that created that problem. But the thing is, Obama's not even left the scene. Obama is still active on this scene. In fact, it seems to me a lot of times that Obama is the spokesman for the deep state to begin with. While Netanyahu, or Prime Minister, uh, excuse me, President Trump and Putin could probably resolve their differences, but that deep state will not let things die down there. So it's a very serious situation that's happening. It looks like this war with Iran is going to come down. Russia very upset over what happened uh, in Deir Azor the other day. They're not saying it. They're making more light of it. But uh, the facts are CBS, Pentagon officials telling CBS, BBC reporting that it was 100 that were killed, estimated by the United States. There were Russian mercenaries operating in that area. That's also come out from the Pentagon since then. So we were accurate in our report when we broke the story that there were Russian contractors, as we were calling them from our own sources on the ground inside of Syria. Nonetheless, very troubling situation and the, uh, the prospects that Prime Minister Netanyahu may indeed resign on Monday. And according to the source that told us that he would resign on Monday, also saying that he will end up getting a six month sentence to go with it. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Shalom.